Hello everyone and welcome to my place on the internet where I will be your host Peter aka the button chop guy where I spend way too much time reading manga and don't have time to do the VTuber thing because in all honesty what do I look like to you somebody who has money? So why do you hate me and Jesus? Alrighty since I broke the ice first thing I want to say is there is no nothing against VTubing or anybody who does the VTuber thing just notice that's a big craze for a lot of people right now and uh it just I, I realize how much money it actually costs to actually get stuff like that done. So uh yep, we're gonna just keep continuing with this. Let me see. That's not good. <laughs> they said market price. What market are you shopping at? One other thing I do want to talk about before we get right into this episode is, very briefly is thank you to everybody who's given me feedback on my previous episodes, even if it was, you know, things to improve on, like fixing my audio. Thank you guys so much for vocalizing that kind of stuff to me it is the only way I'm going to know if my content needs work is when you guys tell me. So thank you guys so much for being very vocal about that. I, I you have no idea how much I appreciate it to hear that kind of feedback because I just want to get better. And you guys telling me what to work on to get better at it helps. So thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, right into this episode. So yes, if you guys were listening to any of the previous episodes, I asked you guys what I should cover in terms of uh, a lewd one. So this is the first lewd manga that I'm going to be covering in this podcast because when, when I asked around I didn't get much response but the people on my discord did kind of read the ones that I suggested out of the four and, and voted on one so here we are. So first thing I want to cover is the publication. So first of all what is the title of the manga that I'm going to be covering? It's... oh god. Aoi Soran which roughly translates to Blue Skies, Kalunimbus Pouring Rain. I don't really understand it, but again, if you guys remember from my History of Bar episode, that when it comes to a lot of the translated works over here into the West, it's not official translated works, it's scanlated works, which I'm sure you guys can find plenty of topics or videos out there talking about scanlations and that whole spiel. I mean, Trash Taste did an episode on it, which I will link down here below where they actually talk about, you know, pirating anime and the, like everything about anime and the whole pirate stuff, you know, piracy stuff, if, if you want to go check that out. I highly suggest checking it out because to me it was a very eye-opening experience. Five minutes later. So, this particular one-shot manga that we have here was written by one of my personal favorite mangaka, which is Jiraiya. And it's because, one, I really do like what he makes in terms of his character designs. And two, I really do like his backstory because when growing up he was rather small and skinny and a lot of people told him that he needed to get bigger. And I totally relate to that because that's what I dealt with growing up with. I was a really skinny puny dude and people were just like, you need to eat more, you need to get bigger, and blah ba doo ba -doo, doo Whatever that meant. <laughs> So yeah, you can see why I like this person a lot. So yes, this is a one-shot manga made by him, and it was published in Bakudan Comics. So thanks for doing that. I hope you guys really work on getting more stuff out. So of course we're going to meet our three characters, which the first one we're going to meet is Daikichi, who is the main protagonist of this little story. And we meet his boyfriend, Kosaku, who is staying with him in their lovely little apartment. And of course then we meet Daikichi's father, which is Hey Hachio, or Chiro for short, because I, his, his name is really, really hard, and I, I have a hard time saying people's names. You know, it's just, if you guys didn't know, I went to speech therapy classes because I have a hard time saying my L's. And I still do that with actually, because I say etchy sometimes, not actually. There's no lll happening there. Okay, yep, sorry, I'm getting off track. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Our story begins with meeting Daikichi and Kosaku in their apartment in the middle of a romp because why not and 
That's the one thing you're gonna learn about Bar Manga or any good Komi mangas. Sometimes they don't wait, they don't build up, they just get right in the middle of the stuff. <laughs> So while they're doing this, they get an unexpected visit, and it just so happens to be Daikichi's father, Chiro, showing up, unexpectedly, and freaking them both out. So they both quickly clean up their little uh, fun time extravaganza stuff that they had pretty much everywhere. Ew, that's gross! And then invite his father in. What they discover is that there was a falling out between Daikichi's father and his older sister regarding about the youngest daughter's wedding and all this stuff and so he didn't want to be there so he shows up to Daikichi's apartment. So after kind of settling things down and settling things in, Daikichi and Kosaku play host to Chiro and of course they decide that they're gonna wash up and when Chiro goes and wash up and comes back out he discovers a dilt- I, I, I mean a um a wand! Yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. A massage wand. Which, ironically enough, they also call it that. Yeah. So after that quick little debacle, they have dinner and then they start drinking beer and sake. Which Daikichi does warn Kosaku about his father's habits when he drinks. Which he states that even when he falls asleep, it's really hard to wake him up. Not even yelling or kicking him wakes him up. As stated by Daikichi. So after some banter, Daikichi goes to bed, then the other two go to bed shortly thereafter after drinking some more. And of course during the night, Kosaku decides that he's gonna wake up and go to the bathroom. And on his way back to his bed, he knows that Chiro is sleeping. Then he knows that Chiro is packing. Something big. Something very, very big. Flap and flotsam, what's that? Then Kosaku recalls what Daikichi said about his father having a hard time waking up after drinking a lot. And his curiosity grows. In more ways than one. Snuck that! Yeah. I can do what I want. So Kasaku investigates by looking, and then getting frisky with it, which causes Chiro to have a dream about his late wife appearing before him and proceeding to copulate with him. This makes for a very brief and steamy scene, resulting in a fireworks finish! Yeah, I. Oh man, why? I guess it's been a long time for him, right? I guess, mm hmm? Kosaku cleans up Chiro's mess off of him and then dips out of the room as fast as possible, which he does not wake up from. So, kudos to Kosaku, you achieved your goal. Then Kosaku barges into Gaikichi's room and proceeds to romp with him a lot for a good amount of time, which, again, scenes aren't bad, they look very, very nice. The next morning, Chiro decides that he needs to return home, which Daikichi and Kosaku start freaking out because they think he found out things that he wasn't supposed to find out, which to their relief is not the case. He, he just tells them that he wants to go home because Daikichi's mom has appeared to him in the dream. And after a short debate, they do agree to do everything that Chiro wants to do. And not really understanding, Daikichi kind of pokes as they're driving him back to the airport. Of course, Daikichi asks his father questions during the drive, which kinda makes Daikichi a little bit nervous, but then he relaxes once his father explains to him that he needs to relax and explains some of the things that he was thinking about. Chiro shares a moment where he states that he did a good job for his kids, before asking Daikichi if he can still have the massage wand, which Daikichi pronounces that he just takes that away from him very quickly and promises him to send him a new one. What? Chiro gets on the plane, and the two men decide, Hey, your older sister set up reservations for you, Dad. Why not take those? And they both decide to do that. And the story ends with Kaisatri remarking on how much Daikichi and Chiro are alike, and more ways than one, as you can probably see. Wow. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire story. Did I enjoy this manga? Yes. Yes, I did. The reason why I've enjoyed this one so much is because I absolutely love that the comedic elements were able to break up all the stuff going on in the story. They just kept me engaged throughout. And of course, I know some people are going to ask me, well, what do you think of the Stingley Slims? Well, I'll certainly tell you that yes, 
I do like it the scenes because I do like it the characters who the body types because <laughs> let me just let me just slip right in between you two there. You're an inspiration to all of us. I'm in. <laughs> Not only that, I do need to stress the fact that uh as much as I did enjoy this manga, I have to say, um don't be Kosaku and looking at somebody who's passed out drunk and say, hey, this idea is okay to perform on them because reasons, even though the story told us the reason why he was going to do that and he did it anyways, but still need to stress the fact that we don't, we don't condone the non-con stuff, even though I didn't find that one as harmful. Doesn't matter. Also... I'm sure some of you are probably going to ask, what, what do you think about it when it came to Daikichi? Well, it's gotten a little bit more dubious, even though he said no, because he didn't want his dad to find out. But then it said, okay, just keep it down. And yeah. A little longer than a few minutes later. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to cover about this manga. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this episode, because holy crap, I didn't realize it was going to be this short. But you know what? We are here for it. Hell yeah, f yeah, f yeah, hell yeah. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say in this episode. This is a particular manga that if you guys do like, I do highly suggest checking it out and reading it. It was a lot of fun for me and I certainly hope it was a lot of fun for you guys hearing me recount the story as haphazardly as I have done it. Or as at least I feel about it. I don't know, you guys tell me. Don't be nervous, you're gonna be great. So, if you guys have any suggestions to any other forms of manga or other mediums that uses the tags Geiko Mi, Bar, or Men's Love, please send it my way because I would love to cover it. I want to thank everybody who has sent me suggestions so far. I am just, you guys have no idea how elated I am that there are people out there who want to discuss and talk to me about this particular genre. And it just gives me, again, more immense hope that there are we can get more of this stuff, especially if we get official translated works. Oh yeah! So yep, that is all for my episode once again. Thank you to everybody who's shown support to me so far. If you want to keep supporting me, you have the wonderful opportunity to donate to me at Ko-Fi, which you'll find in the link in the description below. I did not mention that in my last episode, but yeah, I did make a Ko-Fi account. So if you want to help me out, you can do that. Please, donate to my Ko-Fi, so I may continue to listen to Lo-Fi. Why do I think that is a funny joke? That's not a funny joke. I, okay, I'll just see myself out now. You can also follow my social media. I know I'm not the greatest person on social media or I just don't know how to work social media at all, but that's there for you too. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much all I need to cover. So I hope you guys enjoy yourself. Please go check out this manga if you have not. I would love to hear what you guys think about it. But that is pretty much all for my episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and enjoying the content that I make. I absolutely love everybody who has shown support to me, whether it's just giving me feedback. In my next episode though, uh, there is one particular manga series that I want to cover. And the main reason why I want to cover it is because it kind of highlights a time period of this particular genre and the more like late 80s 90s era so i'm actually kind of glad that i found this one so i hope you guys enjoy it but yes please join me in my next episode i hope you guys had a lot of fun please give me any feedback if you guys think i need to improve on some stuff i'm i i like it that you guys tell me that stuff but yep that is pretty much all for my episode i hope you guys enjoy what i had to say and i hope to see you guys in my next one up above.